This is a story of one of the most threatened hornbill species and a rare attempt of the local tribal communities to save its habitat. I would say among the birds, uh, the hornbills uh, uh, take the unique uh, apex uh, position because uh, of its uh, beauty and uh, the visual uh, beauty it gives to the uh, viewers and watchers. For us, uh, we get in Varachal area is unique because it is uh, situated uh, contiguous to some of the very prime natural forests of Kerala, especially when you go to uh, a Mangulam forest and uh, Irabigulam National Park adjoining to the Chinar Wildlife Sanctuary. This side you can uh, touch uh, Parambikulam Wildlife Sanctuary, which is another protected area. And these are all again contiguous to the Indira Gandhi uh, Wildlife Sanctuary of Tamil Nadu. So the entire stretch is uniquely situated where, where its biodiversity importance is uh, it's understood by everybody and we have to take all possible measures to protect it. Adhirapalli Vadachal Boreula Picnic Sportical Namada Samstana Bird Aya Hornbill Etum Puddle Kanana Pradesham Vadara Puddle Madakadagal Vata Stretcha It Matu Pala Division Regal Chiranadak in the Pradesham Inga Pala the Wundum Subsets the Puddle Naranavari Avana Makala would put it now division on a Sports Division.
the primitive Kado tribes, endemic to this part of Western Ghats, are seen only in the small patch of these Ghats. The Kados turned of the kings of Anamalais by the historians are on the verge of cultural extinction because of the continuous displacement due to dams and deforestation. Now, as a part of the survival, the Kados are organized under the Department of Forests to protect their forests. മലമുഴക്ക് വേഴാമ്പലിനെ സംരക്ഷിക്കുക എന്ന ഒരു ലക്ഷ്യത്തോടു കൂടി രണ്ടായിരത്തി നാല് രണ്ടായിരത്തി അഞ്ച് കാലഘട്ടം മുതൽ ഈ ഡിവിഷനിൽ ഒരു പദ്ധതി നടപ്പാക്കി വരികയാണ് ഇത് ഒരു പങ്കാളിത്തത്തോടു കൂടിയുള്ള വനാശ്രിത സമൂഹത്തിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ആദിവാസി സമൂഹത്തിൻ്റെ പങ്കാളിത്തത്തോടു കൂടി നടപ്പിലാക്കുന്ന ഒരു പദ്ധതിയാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് രണ്ടായിരത്തി മൂന്ന് നാല് വർഷത്തിൽ ആദിവാസി യുവാക്കളെ ഞങ്ങൾ ഇതിൽ പങ്കെടുപ്പിക്കുകയും അവരുടെ സഹകരണത്തോടു കൂടി ഒരു പ്രാരംഭ സർവേയും തുടർന്ന് ഈ വേഴാമ്പലുകളുടെ പ്രചനകാലമായ ഡിസംബർ മുതൽ ഏപ്രിൽ മാസം വരെ ഈ വേഴാമ്പൽ കൂടുകളുടെ ഒരു സംരക്ഷണവും രണ്ടായിരത്തി അഞ്ച് ആറ് വർഷത്തിലെ സർവേയിൽ മുപ്പത്തിയാറോളം കൂടുകൾ കാണുകയുണ്ടായിരുന്നു വേഴാമ്പ് കാടുകൾ സംരക്ഷിക്കുക കാട്ടിലെ പരിപാടി വേഴാമ്പിൽ കൂടുതൽ അന്വേഷിച്ച് പിടിച്ച് ഇപ്പം നിലവിൽ പാറ്റം കൂടുതൽ സോളാർ റേഞ്ചിനാണ് ഇപ്പം കണ്ടേക്കുന്നത് കൂടുതൽ ഈ അതിലിപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ മൂന്ന് നാല് പേര് ഇപ്പോൾ പുതിയതായിട്ട് എടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പഴയത് മൂന്ന് പേരുണ്ട് ഓരോ പ്രാവശ്യം വിട്ട് കാടായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് വീണ്ടും പുതിയ പുതിയ കൂടുതൽ ഉണ്ട് വേഴാമ്പ് സംരക്ഷിക്കുക എന്നുള്ള പരിപാടികളാണ് അതിനിപ്പോൾ കൂടുതൽ ആൾക്കാരെ സഹകരണം എല്ലാവരും ഉണ്ടാവും ഈ വി എസ് എസ് വർക്ക് തുടങ്ങിയിട്ട് ഞങ്ങളിപ്പോൾ അതിനെ സ്ഥിരമായിട്ട് പാതുകാക്കുകയില്ലേ അങ്ങനെ പാതുകാക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ വേറെ പുറമേയുള്ള ആൾക്കാർ തന്നെ അതിനെ എന്തെങ്കിലും കല്ല് കൊണ്ട് വീക്കിയാലോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വടി കൊണ്ടെറിഞ്ഞാലോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒന്ന് ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ആൾക്കാർ തന്നെ ഏയ് അത് തൊടാൻ പാടില്ല അതങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാൻ പാടില്ല അത് അതുള്ള അതുള്ള കാരണമാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ പണികളും തൊഴിലുകളും എല്ലാം കിട്ടണേ എന്നുള്ളത് പിന്നെ ഈ മരങ്ങളും ഈ പല ജാതി തള്ളി അത് നമുക്ക് ചേർന്നത് തന്നെ പത്തിരി അത് നമുക്ക് ചേർന്നത് തന്നെ അതൊക്കെ ഈ ഈ സാധനം കൊണ്ടുപോയി തീ തിന്ന് കൊണ്ടുപോയി ദൂരം കൊണ്ടുപോയി ഇടുന്ന കാരണമാണ് ആ മരങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് മുളച്ച് വലിയ മരമായി അത് നമുക്ക് ഈ തള്ളി ഈ മറ്റേ പത്തിരി അതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് വെള്ളാമയായി കിട്ടുന്നത് The southwest monsoon rain starting from June brings life to the season here. The state of Kerala with an average rainfall of 3000 mm is getting high rainfall in its forest areas. Every creature in this land receives the rain with pleasure. The moment of life begins here with the rain and the sprouting of seeds.
this time we can see hornbills in flocks of up to 50 in number. Along with this rainfall, the northeast monsoon coming in the month of October and November months determine the water availability of this region. The short spring and the winter pass on quickly in between these. The rainforests of the mountains keep the rivers perennial up to the end of hot summer months. The Great Pied, the Malabar Pied, the Malabar Grey and the common grey hornbills are the four species found in southern India. The forest of Warchow is the only location where we could find all these species together. The great Indian hornbill is having a height of more than 1.3 meters and weighs up to 4 kilograms. This species is the most beautiful and largest among the 31 hornbill species found in Asia. Similar to the other species of hornbills, the great Indian also nests on natural hollows of large trees. With the beginning of November, hornbills can be seen in pairs. Then they'll be in search of a suitable tree hollow for nesting. We usually need large old growth rainforest trees. In this region, they usually nest on important rainforest trees like Palachium, Mesua, Veteria, Calophyllum, Bombax, Caminalia, Depterocarpus, etc. They are monogamic and use the same nesting hollow in the succeeding years. The courtship begins after finding a suitable nesting location. During this period, we can see hornbill pairs clapping their bills and exchanging vocal notes sitting on high forest trees. Soon, they'll start their regular visit to selected nesting hollows to make it clean and ready for the nesting. Actually, this regular visit is an inspection of its surroundings. Any disturbance at this time may compel them to abandon the nest. So the tribal people take great care to avoid any sort of disturbance, especially from humans. With the mid of December, the female gets into the hollow and begins to seal the entrance using her own excreta. Only a small slit will be left open in order to allow her mate to feed her and her chicks. Now, she is ready for four to five months of meditation in the self-made encasement. This type of nesting behavior among the hornbills is a wonder of the bird family. Other species of hornbills also show this type of nesting behavior. 
The type and size of the nesting trees change depending upon their habitat and size. The Malabar Pied Hornbill, the second largest hornbill of this region, is endemic to South India and Sri Lanka. Its habitat in Kerala is now restricted to the low altitude riparian forests of Warchal. It will soon be lost with the commissioning of the proposed Adirapilli Hydroelectric Project. The great Indian hornbill lays two or three eggs, but usually one or two chicks survive. And is dependent on the health of the surrounding forests and the availability of fruits. It is a period of hard work and patience for the male hornbill, wandering for food and also for the female meditating inside the hollow in the hot summer months. They were found to depend on 44 different forest tree species here. Among them, figs are of most important to them. We are able to locate about 18 fig species in this Warshal and Sholaya forests. The male usually feeds his family in the early mornings and late evenings. He regurgitates and carefully passes the fruits collected in his throat to his mate through a narrow slit of the nesting hollow. It's very interesting to watch. The process lasts for up to 15 minutes and is found to transfer more than 100 fruits in each feeding. The eggs hatch within 30 to 40 days. After a week of hatching, we can hear the sounds of the small chicks inside. The male becomes busier with the growth of the chicks because he has to feed them on short intervals.
In this time, humans are the main enemies. The forest fires set by humans and the poachers coming to catch the mother and the chicks inside the nest are the main threats. But now they are safe because the tribes are guarding their nest sites. One day, when the chicks were about three weeks old, the male bird did not come back after a long period of waiting. The female inside the nest panicked and she was waiting for a long time keeping a bill outside. Then, suddenly he came with a surprise for all of us. He was having a large snake in his bill instead of fruits. The change of diet continued after two weeks. During this period, he brought lizards, chicks, eggs of small birds and rodents to feed his growing babies. After two weeks of heavy proteinaceous food, they returned to their frugivorous habits. Hornbills show their royal touch in every aspect of their life. The mother bird will throw it away if she is supplied with decayed fruits. Mother and the chicks eject the excreta outside carefully through the entrance slit. It will help them keep the nest clean. The tribal people locate the nesting tree by looking at the excreta and feathers below. There will be hundreds of seeds in the droppings of this rare bird. It is found to contain seeds of more than 40 species of trees.
The midsummer rain in the March April may be giving pleasure to the nesting birds. It is not for the drinking of water, but the short intermittent rain pilots the coming monsoon and indicate end of the long waiting. So they can set themselves free to fly over the mountains spreading their long beautiful wings. When the chicks are almost grown, the female comes out first, breaking the strong entrance of the nest, and she once more seals the entrance from outside. She looks more beautiful with her new feathers and white eyes. The male hornbill will be happy now, because his guard has made to share his job to feed the young ones inside the nest. Within two or three weeks of the female coming out, the chicks also come out breaking the entrance of the nest. The hornbills fly and disappear over the large trees with monsoon clouds. We also get down to the valley thanking the gods for the end of another successful season. But still, we know that the tree that we saw here is already dead in the forest fire of the previous years and may fall down in the coming monsoons. Very few nesting trees are left in the forest because of us the humans. The destruction continues, sadly, resulting in the extinction of many creatures. The future of this land is in our own hands.